This is an introduction to the work energy principle. Work is calculated as the product of the magnitude of a force times the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. Work is a scalar and its units are Newton meters, which are equivalent to joules. Net work is also equivalent to the net force times the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. By Newton's second law, net force is equal to mass times acceleration. We will substitute this in. For our next substitution, we will borrow an equation from kinematics. Some of you may recognize its one-dimensional form. However, in two dimensions, we insert the multiplication by the cosine of the angle between the acceleration and the displacement. Note that this equation is in scalar form as it cannot be solved for the direction of the velocity merely speed. We will rearrange this equation and substitute in for our previous equation for net work. Here is the result. The term one half mv squared is known as kinetic energy, the energy of motion. It too is a scalar quantity with units of joules. We can now write network in shorthand as the change in kinetic energy. This is called the work energy principle. Let's illustrate the use of work on an example problem. A box, initially at rest, is pulled along a level surface for a distance, what will be its final velocity? For work problems, we need information about the forces, the displacement, and the angles. We start with a free body diagram, and on the side, Note the direction of the displacement. We use the free body diagram to find expressions for all unknown forces. Of course, we still need to set up a coordinate system. We use Newton's second law to solve for any unknown force. We create a table of forces, displacement, and angles. Note that the displacement is the same because it's the same one object. We calculate the work done by each of the forces. Note that forces acting perpendicular to the displacement produce no work. Net work is the algebraic sum of all the work done on the object. Now we use the work energy principle. 
we substitute in for the expression of kinetic energy. In this case, the box starts from rest, so we can simplify the expression and then solve for the unknown. Substitute in with units to get the answer.